In this lesson, we're going to go over mirror and welding inside of ZBrush using symmetry, which is just a fancy way of saying we're going to duplicate some geometry and then flip it in some fashion. Of course, the easiest way to do that is to just duplicate a subtool. So for this example, we're going to use the top half of a Pokeball I created earlier. Just simply go into your subtool palette, click on the subtool you want duplicated, and then duplicate it. Then you can grab the new one and go down to your deformation palette and you can rotate it, you can offset it, you can even change its size, you can bend it, flatten it, tape in it, or taper it, squeeze it, add some noise, smooth it out, you can do anything you want. So, uh, like for instance for this one, I just rotated on the z-axis and that created the bottom half of the Pokeball. Now keep in mind it duplicated everything, so if I go to the top half and go ahead and rotate this, you can see inside. See? It duplicated everything. Now, <laughs> unfortunately it also grabbed this too, but uh, that's easily fixed. Go into your duplicate, and then you just grab the geo you don't want, and then you can get rid of it. See? It's pretty easy to do. Now there are other ways you can uh, duplicate geo. So let's go ahead and control Z that. Let's say one side of your Pokeball is really messed up, so let's go ahead and go in here to like blob or something. Yeah, that's that's pretty weak. Uh, Z intensity up and go into clay build up. Let's say one side is just really screwed up, and you've been sculpting on this side, making it all perfect. Well, what you can do, let's go ahead and delete the duplicate. Delete that. Yep. Okay. So what you can do is turn on the floor and then go to deformation and say unify. Now what this is going to do is it's going to try to put your it's going to it's going to try to center your subtool. Okay? And then press whoops. <laughs> and then go up to geometry. Go into modify topology and you have the ability to mirror and weld. Now, and of course delete by symmetry. But something to keep in mind, if you delete by symmetry, it's going to delete the right half every time. So you don't want that. You want the other half uh, deleted. So you can go ahead and control Z that, and then go back into the deformation palette, and then just simply say mirror. Now what that's going to do is it's just going to flip everything. So because again, you want to keep the left half of this thing as the side that you were sculpting on. So then go back into the geometry palette, and then say delete by symmetry, and it'll get rid of the ugly half, and then say mirror and weld. Ta-da! And now you have a perfect uh, top half of your Pokeball. Now something to keep in mind is that it actually duplicates everything, including subtools, or not subtools, sorry, including polygroups. So as you can see, if I click the top polygroup, it clicks both sides. Even though it was duplicated, this side right here is not a separate polygroup. It's part of this one, as it should be. So even everything on the inside. All right, and that's just one way to do it. Now let's say you're dealing with something that actually isn't symmetrical. Something like horns or armor, you know, something you don't actually want welded together, but you want duplicated uh, and mirrored to the other side of the mesh in the exact same position. For this example, we're going to use the dragon form of General Onox. All right, so just like before, you're going to select the subtool that you want duplicated or mirrored over. Now you can use one of two methods. You can either go ahead and duplicate the subtool itself, go ahead and select the new one, and just like before you're going to use the deformation menu to flip it to the other side. Now in this case rotating it on the z-axis won't do what you want it to do. Instead you're just going to press mirror and it'll mirror over to the other side. If you go back to the subtools you'll see that you have the original and the one that you duplicated was just simply mirrored. Pretty easy, right? All right, so let's go ahead and delete the duplicate this time. And we're going to select the subtool all by itself. And this time, just go to Geometry, and we're going to say Mirror and Weld. Go back to the subtools, and you'll see what it did. It duplicated it, mirrored it over to the other side, and then merged both the subtools together. In other words, it mirrored and welded. <laughs> anyway, so um, as you can see, they're not actually welded. What it did was it duplicated it and pushed it the exact same distance the original was from the X, Y, and Z axis. So it's in the proper spot. Go and turn everything else back on, as you can see. 
Okay, this is a really, really heavy mesh. <laughs> anyway, so there you go.